Music brings us all together. Disillusionment and joy and so much pain. That's what Lyndon Hope hopes to do with her music. I didn't really have that, and so I had to write it. She writes about the emotional experience of coming out and being queer within the church. Emery Zanzel can relate. I came out right after I was ordained. She's a minister who came out later in life at 52 and now coaches others on how they can do the same. I have worked with people that are 75 plus. And while these two women just met. Hi, how are you? They're inspiring their city by sharing their stories. And I think that's what I hear Lindsay and I both doing, that we're, you know, taking yeah. our own pain and using it to create something better. Right. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. they both know being part of the LGBTQ community has its challenges within and outside of the church. So I came from a church that was just, that didn't necessarily, was not blatantly homophobic, but just was silent. We don't exist. It took a long time to kind of integrate my, um, yeah, my queer identity with my Christian faith, but I feel like I'm in a place now where I can be both and it feels so good. It feels mm -hmm. like a relief. While everyone has their own journey, Anne-Marie and Lyndon hope their one-on-one -on -one coaching and vulnerable songwriting make others feel accepted, understood, and celebrated. Nikki Hauser, News Channel 5.